I'm Michael McDonald, and this is Nicole Sullivan. Hi. We just need a minute of your time. Yeah. To begin with, Nicole and I are both huge fans of the television show Law and Order. Huge fans. Yeah. I mean, it's the best show on TV, hands down. I mean, other than Mad TV. Oh. See, I I think it's better than Mad TV. Well, actually, I do too. <laughs> <laughs> but, but because it's so good, Michael and I would just both love a chance to be on Law and Order one day. But. Unfortunately, the producers of Law & Order only see us as comedians. Right. They don't know that we're actually both uh, classically trained dramatic actors. It's true. It's, it's true. So what we've done is put together sort of an audition tape for the producers of Law & Order. Uh, we, we did it with our own money. It's sort of um, our little project, if you will, you know, to show them that we do have the acting chops to do drama. Now, what this audition tape is, is uh, us doing a series of characters, not unlike the characters you would see on the actual television show Law & Order. So let's run it. <laughs> yeah, I've seen this dead lady. I mean, I don't, exa I don't exactly know what comings and goings, but um, she was around here last night. So, um, which one of yous wants a date? Because I'm a hooker. <laughs> Cynthia's dead. I hate this city. I hate being an average hooker in this city. Hey, big guy, you got some money? Thanks. <laughs> sure, usually if there's a couple fighting, I take a look. But for an extra 50, I don't ask no questions. That's not a Bronx accent. That, that wasn't? No, no, no. That is a hard G. It wasn't important. One is a hard G, one concentrates on T's and D's. Well, Those are very different letters. I, that's what I was doing. You, you just don't, I mean, it's like for you, if I, you're not doing it, it's not right. I've been watching this here for three years. And I made sure the door was locked. It was locked. Yeah. We're never going to put that on Law & Order. So they use Law & Order, uh, deaf people on Law & Order all the time. There was fine, a, there was fine, the deaf, you win. Like, there was a deaf... I'm a good cop, Lenny. <laughs> I'm a bad cop, Lenny. Well, let's just say the Vic ate well. For dinner, filet mignon. And for dessert, uh, I think he got a little lucky, if you know what I mean. I found Seymour. The good news? I found hair on the body. The bad news, it's not human. <laughs> Thanks. We have uh, people in my family that uh, sell medical supplies. Down. Go down, Jackson, go down. down. I can't believe that I'm the wife of a dead man. I can't believe that I'm the husband of a dead woman. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. I want us both to do that. I want us to do that, too. Okay. Well, you're a team player right now. And yeah, well, and guess what? I do a little bit better when I'm not being... Hen oh, what? Oh, now okay. I'm a nag? I'm a nag. Yeah. Because well, I'm trying to get you to be specific uh, about your locale of your New York accent. I'm not calling you a nag. I'm just saying that you're an old, haggy horse. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Okay, well, um, no, we'll, we'll just, we'll, that's okay. We'll do some edits and we'll uh, tighten it up, like uh, tweak it, as they say, and uh, before we mail it out, I think it'll be fine. What? <laughs> You mailed it out already. <laughs> oh, my, Michael, did it occur to you to, to, to watch it before you sent I, it? I'm sorry. I was hungover when I did it. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. You know what? Because well, uh, they're pros, and, and we're, we're, we're pros. And I'm sure they'll see through all that, you know, the fact that we're cla classically trained actors. <laughs> hey, I'll uh, see you on the set of Law & Order. <laughs>